patients. All right. Patients receiving diagnostic services only. This is a long guideline. There's a lot of information in here. I've got examples on the next slide. But what we're what it's saying here is that if a patient's coming in for diagnostic services only, then you're going to sequence the condition or the reason for the encounter. You can code for your chronic conditions, but the reason for the encounter. If a patient's coming in for routine lab and radiology, then you want to assign the code Z01.89. And then it tells, I put this in here. So make a note because I'm not going to try to pull it up on my screen. Unfortunately, my internet might go out, but I want you to look at the Z01 category sometime after our, after our Zoom meeting today. I want you to see the instructional notes there. And remember, if you follow the instructional notes, it typically tells you the specific diagnoses, what to include in the diagnosis coding that you are doing. If a routine test is being performed during the same encounter, test to evaluate a sign or a symptom that the patient's having, you can assign the Z code and the code describing the reason for the non-routine test. So for example, if that patient comes in for a, a chest X-ray um, and there's no documented reason, but and then we have a urinalysis testing because of cystitis, or I'm sorry, urinary tract infection, let's use that then we can code the urinary tract infection if that because that is a documented diagnosis. So you've got the patient coming in for two different reasons. And one of those, you do not know the, the diagnosis. So you're going to assign your Z code. And for the other one, you do have a diagnosis. You would assign your diagnosis. Here's something to pay attention to. When you're coding in the outpatient world and the x-ray is available, the lab results are, avail are available, and they got documented results signed by the provider or the interpreter, such as the radiologist, you can code from that radiologist report. So if, if a patient comes in, let's say we have a, a nine-year-old that comes in with um, fell off the bicycle, possible broke arm, by the time you code that chart, you have an x-ray that shows you fracture of left ulna. You can code that. You don't have to code arm pain because you have a definitive diagnosis. You would not code that those signs and symptoms. Here's some examples that I just pulled together last night for diagnostic services only. If a patient comes in and they're just doing a blood type because they're having surgery tomorrow, this is in your Z codes, Z01.83. It's an encounter for blood typing. And remember, in your alphabetic index, encounter is your main term. What about the patient that's having an MRI of the head to monitor the progression of the brain tumor. Well, we have a definitive diagnosis. So we don't have to do an MRI, we don't have to do an encounter for an MRI radiological exam. We can actually code D49.6 brain tumor. And then we have the patient that comes in with no symptoms with a, uh, to have a CBC. That's your Z01.89 laboratory exam without any signs or symptoms. If there were signs and symptoms, this code would not be appropriate and you would assign, and I did not pull the code, but you would go and look for laboratory exam, your analysis, and then you would code your secondary, your additional diagnoses as your signs and symptoms.